What's up guys, today I'm going to do a review of Blood Rain Betrayal. It's out for the Xbox 360 for the arcade and the PSN, well PS3. Uh, it costs I believe roughly about 10 bucks. It's not too bad of a price for the game, but let's check it out. The game has a small anime look to it, but it's not a big problem if you like to watch anime. The gameplay for Blood Rain Betrayal is very simple and it's fun at first, but over time it will get repetitive due to you will get no new special powers and no weapons. I love beating Nick more ass. As you play the game, it's going to be nothing more than a horror mode, basically. There'll be certain areas where you just hack and slash your way through it and pull out combos. There's a few moves you can do also, uh, like, for example, if you hit an enemy at least once, you actually can uh, bite him and hold on to the B button, and then and I would, it, will, it will start to, like, glowing green. Then you can, uh, then, like, use him as a bomb. Uh, it's it's, it's kind of crazy, but I actually didn't find it that useful in the game. Uh, most times you actually just run through it and just charge and just attack. Now, one of the most powerful moves you have is actually just dash attack. It, it, if an enemy is weakened so bad, it will immediately kill him one hit. He was knocking his head off. One of the biggest problems in this game is that there are times when you cannot see. Sometimes it will not affect you as bad, but when there's a lot of enemies on the screen, it is hell. And also when there's a lot of projectiles, because it's cannons, it gets extremely aggravating. And annoying. Sometimes I'm making my fucking throw the controller against the wall. This is bullshit. I can't see. God damn. I got fuckers throwing bombs at me and everything. God damn. Alright. One, two. Oh fuck. A laser. How much money shit's there? Hey, uh. Oh, I can't see anything. Look at these fucking cannonballs. God damn. Damn. You will be seeing Worm Chow a lot. The game is, it takes very hard. You have to get as much score as you possibly can. That's the main objective in the game. Uh, you have to, whenever you play the game, it's like a horror challenge, basically. I have a group of enemies that keeps spawning and spawning. You need to beat them as fast as you can. Beat the stage as fast as you can. Uh, try not to get hit as much as possible, and keep the combo going. And that's that's really the whole objective of the game, really, because the story is, is non-existent. You get points, and you get anything out of this un unlocking, you know, higher rank. Nothing really, just for leaderboards. Here's the story in a nutshell: Rain wants to kill the father. The government wants to kill the father as well, so they decided to team up. The problem with this: they died at the fucking very beginning of the game. The fucking government. And that's, that's really it. The father wants to you know just to take over the world, and that's pretty much the whole entire story. There's some betrayal that goes on, but not much betrayal. I mean, you, you'll meet somebody who helps you out along the way, then they like backstab you, then they don't. They try to help you out again, and it, it, it's, it's kind of stupid and very lame for the story. Very, very lame. See on the top right, that's Rain's father. Apparently, there's some issues going on here. That's a lot of fucking blood. Look at all this damn blood. Dang. They can fuck up right here. The game has about five or six bosses. Uh, most of the time, they're okay. Uh, some kind of cool looking, but they're very easy and simple to beat. And to be honest, even a, a five-year-old could could be them. The actual hard part in the game is not the bosses. It's actually just the stages, the platform.
fact you get a new power is the ability to turn to a bird, and it's very lame. You just try to add in more to the, the platforming, and it just fails. Just really waste your time. Alright. Uh, damn. Alright, let me get this out. Alright, alright, come on. One more. Fuck! Alright, let's try this shit again. Alright, round two, bitch. Almost, almost there. A little more. Oh, what the fuck? He even hit me. Oh, damn it! Look at this shit. All right. Another time. Try to do it again. All right. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Mm. All right. Oh. Shit. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, I can do it, come on! Alright, fuck up, yeah, uh, I got it, almost! Alright, yeah! Come on! Alright, alright, woo! I can finally got it this time. Two more guys should be it, I believe. Alright, a little bit more. Alright. That should be it. Hell yeah, finally. The game looks great, uh, for 2D. Uh, and for 10 bucks, you can't really go too wrong with this, except for the difficulty in it. Uh, the platforming seems very tedious and very annoying. At, at a certain time, it's, it's kind of fun and cool. And challenging. That's, that's actually one of the big ups for this game is the challenge. It's actually possible to beat this game. Uh, you have to get better and better, but there are a few minor annoyances. It's just the time you cannot see anything when it's black, or they're fighting enemies, or while they're doing platforming. It's very, very fucking annoying and will piss you off like no other. Uh, but that one last part I was doing where I had to fight these guys up in the area, the jump, you may have to knock them down. And if you don't knock them down, uh, they won't just throw the sword at you or hit you. And it's just, and, and it's just more. It was more aggravating than it was actually fun. Uh, like it kind of meant to guide in a way. There are a lot of times it'll be a death trap just waiting for you. Um, can it be fun? Yes, but at the same time, it's very annoying when a lot of times in Blood Rain you will not die from losing your health. You will die because you fell down a fucking hole. Uh, I give the game the game probably a three out of five. I mean, it's okay. Uh, this is the problem is this, there's no new weapons to actually help keep the game play going. It's very repetitive and stale. The story is not driving it nowhere. The whole entire story consists of only just going through the game and killing your father, and then it's called Blur Blood Rain Betrayal, but no betrayal going on. It's just it's, it's very lame. The story is just a joke. It really is. It's all about the gameplay and. The gameplay is fun at times, but it is ruined due to this aggravating shit as it's platforming and not being able to see. So as I said, a 3 out of 5, if you like a game with a lot of challenge, grab this game. But if you're a very casual player and you cannot, you're not good at action games, stay away from this. Uh, it, but that, that's pretty much the whole entire game. You just, you'll fall a lot in, in holes and die over and over. Now as you go through the game, you cut these red skulls. Uh, they're placed throughout the game, and getting them, getting so many of them, will allow you to get a new power ability. Now, not really a new power, except for you actually carry more ammo for your gun to use, um, or you can get more health. The really the biggest thing you actually will help out a lot is the health. The guns does not really do a whole lot. The gun itself pretty much gives you a, a brief uh, moment to rest. Um, it might kill a few enemies in one hit, depending on which kind it is. Um, it's just not, the gun really isn't that useful. It really isn't. Later on, you also get another gun, and it's, in combat, it's, it's very unuseful. It's just, it's, you have to hold down to an enemy to actually try to kill them. It's actually more of a puzzle uh, solvent. The puzzles in this game are, are very easy. It's all about platforming. Uh, the game felt like it tried to have a bit of a Mega Man X feel, and, uh, 